You want a piece of me, boy? And welcome back to Hit the Sauce Gaming. Hit the sauce. Shame. We're a little dumber than we think we are. No, no, no. We're not going to tell that story. What we will mention Shh. is uh, how you were correct. You, you're going to... Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so the last episode we were just listening to, and they had that little tiny voice, and, and freaking Mira Vega Hans. had this epiphany. Just my mind, all the relays and uh, synapses were working overtime, and then bam, instantly knew uh, that that voice sounded familiar for his wife, Mira. And I was like, man, uh, it's Captain Planet, Captain Planet, something from Captain Planet. And we were naming off the names of the girls because I couldn't remember the names, and I was like, Linka, it's got to be that Russian girl, whatever. And uh, Soviet. We, Soviet. Soviet. You imperialist Union. dog. Imperialist dog. All Sweet right. imperialist dog. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, so we go into uh, Wiki, and we find out from Blizzard what her name is, and we look, and she she did the voice of Phil and Lil from Rugrats, and then bam, right on the top page, there's Captain Planet, and go down, Linka. And I was like, hell yeah! so happy we're all very proud of you i know i get i get those moments once a month maybe no that's that's pretty and cool though I, I was impressed it keeps me going that was uh i was to, then had to tell my story of uh crispin freeman anyone who's into anime probably mm -hmm. at least dubs like me being a schlub uh probably recognizes that name yeah uh he did the voice of zell goddess and slayers and kion and uh harui suzumiya yeah. uh and probably if ton of others oh, but really? i don't watch a ton of anime yeah however uh i'm a big fan of both those series and a uh, big fan of his voice and me too in w world of warcraft a game i often play with my father uh he oh i we were doing a little scenario when it just came out where you basically like nuke a town an alliance town and uh you have to go through and you free this prisoner at the bottom who then starts saying, hey, we better get out of here because it turns out they're nuking the place. He opens a portal for you to jump through. But he has like three lines. But as soon as we open the cage and I heard his voice, I start just freaking out to my dad like, it's that guy! I didn't that's even recognize you, his name. That's was, all you need. It's that guy. And I look it up. <laughs> sure enough, the one voice he does in this entire massive fucking game that's funny. My brother had a similar story. I don't. He. Everybody, I think, with Christian Freeman would feel like that because he's done so many fucking things. But it's amazing because his he's recognizable and it gives you that joy and it's awesome. That's because he's just so good at what he does right? too. Yeah, it's the same with those announcer dudes that talk about uh, trailers or whatever. The announcer dudes. Uh, oh yeah. Those. That's a very limited job. You know there are maybe three world. people in the world that can actually survive on the payment from that. Some people that actually do it. They're doing. They're making maybe a hundred bucks a job, and you can't live off of that. These people do thousands per year and make a, a decent salary from them. Yeah, I Only imagine the best people. in the world probably make a good bit though. You but know? it's still not as more. It's not. I'm not saying they make millions, true. but yeah. hopefully, being the best in the oh damn, I did being not the best in the that. world makes it so they can survive. Them. Yeah, being the best in the world Which should be pretty good. Very hard in that field. It's crazy. They actually was a. There's a movie that was about it because this this daughter's father died, and uh, he was the best of all time. Everybody that was a voice actor or narrator or anything was just like, we have to okay. be like that guy. He set the par. And when he died, he, everybody was jumping on the bandwagon because that that means all of his n new jobs that were supposed oh, to yeah, happen were now open. available. Yes. So, so somebody's got a freaking. So people wanted to go in, and uh, I didn't actually see what the movie is about, but just thinking like that, it's it's crazy to see how much work one person would do, and and just being great at something is enough to get you that kind of rapport. Uh, so I, that was a pretty successful attack, but I wasn't sure I could win it. Yep. So I'm just going to bail out, and uh, I've got so many medics now. Holy shit. Uh, but don't put them in the front. Well, honestly, killing off a few wouldn't be the worst thing in the world right now. No. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm still sending my uh, guys rallying over there. But just running around collecting minerals, I'll just keep building well, up a force. I'm sure your medics have some euthanasia shots, so you can just have them take those. You know, they probably would in the fucked up StarCraft universe, tell you the yeah. truth. Oh yeah, I can continue upgrades. Uh, here, get some more mercs. There we go. That evens out the uh, the freaking attacking units to medics a bit. Okay. Uh, fucking Linka. Oh my mm -hmm. god. 
I and was she... watching more episodes of that when I was out. Oh, God, why? <laughs> oh, dude, Captain Planet is oh, awesome. Oh, it's really not. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, man. Freaking uh, Linka, that was the character we could not figure out what the fuck to do with in our bridge series. Yeah. Everyone else had, like, a thing and a personality, and she had, like, four lines. <laughs> I would have been I would have been happier if we got rid of her Soviet tone and made her monotone. Yeah, I guess. Probably. And, like, she's Soviet, but she's just super monotone. Freaking, we just didn't have any freaking... We, we were pushing up against the clock there, and her voice with the last one re-recorded, if you'll remember. You just yeah. doing a shitty Soviet Aww. accent. And like, it was, two, like, what, one, midnight, yeah. two in the morning? We were, we were really pushing up against the clock. We still had, like, four days to finish the uh, the episode, but yeah. I think we both knew uh, this is it. <laughs> if we were to do another episode, it would be a lot easier. Yeah, I suppose. Just because we got this first one out of the way. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I won't bury my script so much, and we'll freaking get a shorter one. Okay. Because, yeah, that 10 minutes for a, what, 24-minute long episode, yeah. that's not much of a bridging. No. I'll definitely uh, be a little bit more concise in the script. Yes. I just didn't, oh, man, I didn't want to cut any of the jokes. I felt they were all so great. And, of course, when it, the finished product comes out. Turns out not all of them worked, mm -hmm. just like usual. Yep. Mostly because of my lack of voice talent. Which is also <laughs> why I liked if we, when we made our script, excuse me, we make... Four times as many jokes as we need, and slim it down. Yeah, and, it and we yeah we can record all of the voices and see what actually ends up working. Mm -hmm. Like, like mo most scripts always have an extra thirty minutes. Uh, like a lot of the Mati jokes, I did feel like uh, ended up working in the actual context with the visuals. Yeah. Like uh, the one where I was really happy with the one, the throwaway line at towards the end where uh, Mati's just standing around those. Uh, animals and he's like okay stand right here hey wheeler can i borrow your ring real quick i thought that was great but yeah. in the actual uh video it feels like there's just there's there's no visual to go along with it so it's really yeah, easy to miss yeah we're just doing a sweeping shot yeah yeah uh but it, with his face all of the work all of his lines really went with it like you said like he was just way overly excited yeah. about things <laughs> yeah was, uh, i was just using that as an example but plenty of other ones it's actually weird that uh, we, we put him as that character, and then the next episode is an emphasis on the fact that his heart thing is shit. Yep. It's the, the next episode, they just talk about him him not feeling part of the group because all, all he has is heart, and everybody else has these cool things, and he just feels left out. Got him. Nice. Oh, man. We didn't quite make it long enough. I should have just ran around doing nothing for longer. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, it's all Wings of Liberty, so if we want to just put in the cutscene on this one too, we're good. It's nah, we can't action. do that. We can't. We can't screw with our uh, our dynamic. With yeah, maybe we'll just have a short ass episode here. Okay. Or maybe we'll combine it with the last one. Or we'll do both. Or yeah, or maybe we'll cut the other episode in half and and then mix them around. So and then you mean like uh, Citizen Kane? And then throw like that, hell. Actually, we could just like toss uh, toss the clips of the Abridge series we were talking about. In the middle of it. You're editing. How oh, goddamn it. I don't know if this I want This isn't going out until next week. I did the freaking editing for like two weeks there uh -huh. all by myself. Well, thank you for doing that. All, I all am tough. very appreciative of that because that helped me because I needed to pack all yeah, my stuff. In I hear you. No, I didn't mind. Because I that... was dying, fans. I was dying for you. Yeah, or, or he just had indigestion. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's actually just heartburn. Yeah. Uh, freaking if any day night fans out there. Oh, that hot one! He's a killer! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, that, that was a solid, you know, ten minutes or so. Uh, maybe, maybe we can, like, put, play it off. Uh, you know any good songs that you can sing well? No, but I can always just point out other videos. Or we can just reference Game Grumps like we've been doing. Oh, yeah, dude, let's Refer just... That ten-minute video! Oh, dude, freaking... Okay, yeah, if for some reason, some reason you're watching this... And haven't seen Ninja Sex Party 6969? Fix yourself. I'm staring at the fucking microphone. Yeah. Like really seriously yeah. right now. He's got death because in his eyes. that's Lasers. one of the best freaking uh, videos I've ever seen online. It's been out for almost a month and a half. Yeah. No, it hasn't. by the time this gets out. Oh yeah, probably. So if you guys haven't seen it, obviously. Yeah, but, but you know, fucking check it out. 6969. It's amazing. It's funny. It's musically. Uh, freaking appealing mm -hmm. it's just everyone obviously had a great time making it which is always great to see and we get a tenth of a penny every time you click view 
Just kidding. Uh, dude, we'd be I sitting wish. pretty. I know. You get I mean, like a hundred bucks. No, nah, dude, they get a freaking, uh, they've got over a million views already on it. So, I mean, hell, I'll, I'll take a hundred thousand dollars. No, it'd be a tenth of a penny. Shit, you're right. Okay, a tenth of a penny. So that would be ten thousand dollars. I think a thousand. No, ten thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure. A tenth of a penny. If you got one penny each time, uh, for a million, I think you're right. A thousand. Yeah. Yep, you're right. A thousand bucks. Hey, dude, we can go get that video capture card tonight. Woohoo! No, we can't now because we drank too much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Probably not good there. We can walk there. I'm wondering if anyone who actually watches this is still watching right now. I don't know. I mean, I mean, we, we could say anything. We pretty much just drag things out, and we just have the same screen on there. Well, we just got to get this like to 12 minutes or so. That way, uh, we don't feel we bad can... about cutting yeah. it. That's exactly what I've been thinking. Yeah, I want the extra. I want the extra episode. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Well, after running out of episodes there while you were gone for uh, a month, it, it makes me a little uh, I know. self-conscious. I can now. actually talk about a little bit of the why I was gone, and I feel bad for leaving you guys, and I feel bad for leaving my buddy here but uh i had to i just had to take a trip back to new york obviously because i say that i'm from new york all the time uh, mm -hmm. my insurance is fucking dumb if i'm covered under my parents because they got a government job it should be i can get checked anywhere in the united states or pretty much anywhere in the world if i need to but no uh i have to go back to my hometown to get looked at instead of staying in the lovely state of washington and I went to like nine different doctors to check all my intestines and all of my stomach and all of my like uh, poop glands and. Gotta ask, they stick camera up your butt? No, I wanted them Aww. to because that's the one. Th they didn't run a colonoscopy and they probably showed up, but they did an endoscopy and they took samples inside. Apparently, because of my habits of eating and not just like what I eat, but how I eat, because how I much how much I've, I eat. I've referenced multiple times. I how do much not chew my away. food. I eat, ugh, I eat solid chunks of bread and like court, like the crust of my pizza, and I just swallow it whole. I don't chew it, so it scrapes all the way down in my esophagus. So they found a lot of scar tissue, and the repeated scar, repeated scar tissue causes increased chances of, of irregular You've got cells. Nice teeth. Why don't you use them? Because uh, I use them for this. Oh God! Stop that! <laughs> oh, that's the, the noise doesn't bother me. It's just the idea of clamping my teeth like that. When I get bored, I do that. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, that's <laughs> but I don't terrible. have I don't have any cracks, and my teeth are very very hard. Uh, I chew foil for fun too. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, I've got, <laughs> a, I've got a crown on that freaking tooth. Uh, that, I yeah. just yeah, I just got a, a sealant put in because my uh, the 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 crack in my teeth not cracks in my teeth but the the crevice of my teeth mm -hmm. have gotten too deep because I chew so much. Uh, I thought you didn't chew enough. That was the point. True, but I I chew like my cereal. Well, I suppose to chew. Oh, it's another. I chew, I chew my applesauce and my your, yogurt. Your like story's softens. changing too much. Sorry, I contradict <laughs> myself. Anyways, I had to go back, and then as soon as I get back, I'm mowing my lawn because I'm so happy to be in, in back at home and like with the ah, sunlight yeah. and and I can finally get tan again because I tan like a motherfucker. And uh, I take my shirt off and I'm mowing my lawn and there's plants that apparently I'm more allergic to than I used to because I haven't been getting as much sunlight. My skin is more sensitive. And it looked like I just got leprosy all throughout my whole body. And now it looks like you're an escaped slave. Exactly, because it looked like I got whipped on my back it and has, my legs. It's really nasty. Yep. I was taking steroids to bring down the inflammation and then they put cream on. And that was just added on to the fact that I felt like shit because I couldn't eat food right. Uh, but they got me through all these different procedures and they still haven't figured it out. But they just assume that it's because I have increased acid production and that uh, I had little tiny um, lesions throughout my intestines and stuff. But I, I'm just scared if it's Crohn's because I've just heard nightmares oh, yeah. of people getting their colon like dissected and chopped off so they have to like keep removing out of a fucking bag or something. A colostomy bag. You oh, have to get God. that put in because they got to keep removing more and more of you as you get older. My brother has Crohn's and, and IBS and all like that lovely stuff, and I know that that's now in the family, so there's a good chance I have it. But what's stupid? They didn't fucking check me for that shit. They checked me for AIDS and STDs. They checked me for STDs nine fucking times. Well, as long as you don't have any, I that don't. Means I don't have to get tested. Exactly, you're good. <laughs> uh, and all the other girls and guys that I've been talking to, just kidding. You're you might you're my only one. Mm. Uh, but no, they tried to hit him. I've got I, a knife. My my habit is if I'm gonna change sex partners that I feel like I'm gonna be studied with, I want to make sure that I get checked. So I usually get checked pretty often. But hey, music uh, came back. Not not hinting at the fact that I actually get around, but he gets around. I get Have around. you guys seen his picture? He gets around. I don't get around. They come to me. Ah, uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. so we're back and we're ready to go. We're gonna try and champ out as many episodes as we can, and hopefully you're gonna follow us. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast of Hit the Sauce Gaming. Yeah. <laughs> but at least you had well, a pretty should we picture. Do a podcast? Oh man, I don't know. I don't think we'd ever be able to stay on topic. I know. And most well, the people thing who is... click on podcasts want a specific topic. Uh, at least that's what I do when I true. when I click. Well, I was just thinking we can cut the fucking video editing and just do. We just sit there, sit, fucking drink beers for nineteen hours. Uh, It'd be. You know weird. what? We'll discuss this off okay. camera. But, uh, all right, I think we've uh, made this long enough to... What camera? I'm just uh, <laughs> I, did, I never told you about the camera, did I? Fuck. Well, let me just say, you're internet famous for a different show. Ooh. We don't watch porn here at Hit the Sauce Gaming. Ooh. We make it. Ooh. All right, so, leaving on that terrible joke, Yes. we will see you guys all next time. Bye! That was a terrible joke. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs>